Hello, metal fans, rock fans, music fans. Great to see you. My name is Matthew Hunt. I run uh, boonsoverstock.com. We also have Retroactive Records and Bombworks Records and several others. But a number of years ago, I picked up a bunch of totes of rare demo tapes. I mean, a bunch. And I've been spending. Uh, the next few, the last few years, and and now, and I'll be spending the years to come, trying to sell these demo tapes, and some of them are pretty cool, and so uh, periodically we do eBay auctions. So, um, I'm going to show you 21 demo tapes that are currently, as of today, the 12th of May 2020, up for auction. They'll only be up for a total of seven days, and they started on Sunday. So you've got about five days left. These are really cool demo tapes. I'm going to show you some uh, and tell you a little bit about what we're offering. Uh, our eBay store is Boone's Overstock. And if you check down below, I will you will see the link to our eBay store and to the auctions that we have. So you can see all 21 listings. You can read detailed descriptions about them, look at pictures and stuff like that. But I am going to share a little bit of this information with you today because I'm very excited about these releases. The first one that I want to show you is Pond Scum. Anybody there look familiar? The guy with the long blonde hair that's standing up with the uh, with the flannel shirt is Roger Dale Martin. He played in Vengeance Rising, the first two Vengeance Risings, and he also played in Die Happy. The name of this is, is Pond Scum. That's the name of the band. It is, I call it Texas Sizzle. I don't know if it's Texas. It's probably not. But it's blues. It's heavy blues like Stevie Ray Vaughan and that kind of stuff where it's really heavy blues. Special guest Doug Atkins plays guitar, organ, backup vocals. It's actually out of Huntsville, Alabama. So, and... Pond Scum. I bought this directly from Roger Dale at Cornerstone Festival in probably around 95 or something like that. Pretty cool. It's really good. It's six tracks. Uh, I love it. It's really good. It's a great album. Super rare find. The next one is called A Wall. Uh, it stands for At the Will of the Lord, which is actually the title of the album. Right here. Got a bunch of songs on it. Um, it's got a really cool tape, you know, like a professionally printed cassette. It's also got the fold out insert as well. And a wall at the will of the Lord is Jesus music. It's just it's your traditional uh, hard rock and heavy metal. It's kind of hard to pin it down exactly, uh, but there are YouTube videos for all of these. Every single one of these, um, I either post most of them I posted myself on YouTube, but uh, a few of them uh, were already up there, so I didn't have to. The next one is one of my favorite un unsigned bands is Apostle, Florida band, uh, featuring Matt Harding. And this was this is actually two albums on one. As you see, it's a really nice demo tape. So it actually has two albums. Uh, one of them is called Chariots of Iron, and the other one is called Hymns. So... As you can see, it's a professionally printed insert. If you can see the amount of tape that's on there, it's a lot. 
because it's basically got one album per side and uh the the apostle stuff needs reissued on cd and i've been working on that but um it's really not hard to do matt harding died a number of years ago so trying to find contact is tough the next one up is first strike uh it's a demo that came out after the album that came out on Exit Records, their full full length. Um, this one is a four song EP, traditional hard rock, you know, quasi metal occasionally, but mostly it's AOR and hard rock. Um, tape. It's kind of got a homemade ish insert but it's pretty big in there you go four songs you've got first strike uh their album what's rock of offense that was the name of their album this one is traditional hard rock and uh it's pretty creative stuff i i do enjoy it their Rock of Offense album, anytime I get it on vinyl, it does sell really well. And I have tried to reissue, just so you know, I've tried personally for Retroactive Records to reissue First Strike several times. Got uh, what I consider deep into discussions, only to be shut down for no explicable reason. At least I wasn't told what it was. All right, this one, this next one is sort of a treasure testimony 1989 album florida based band uh it has one of the most striking covers that you'll find look at that baby that is amazing is that not uh the guy with the uh zebra shirt and the uh giant uh, bass is Joey Antrim, and uh, he's actually a friendly dude. He, I've, I've uh, messaged back with him a few times, and um, I don't think there's much going on with the band anymore. It has a pretty nice insert. It has microscopic uh, lyrics. So all you need to do is get out uh, your X-ray, you know, your Superman eyesight, or maybe a microfine glass, and you'll be able to see it but it's pretty good and out of florida the band testimony they also have a three or four song demo i think it's a four song demo that was out in 88 i already sold that um this is i don't know some people say that it's very rush sounding progish rock i don't really hear the rush connection but i do hear uh classic rock i hear hard rock you know it's not it's not really the full-on metal sound that the cover kind of gives it uh but uh but i love the cover i just love the cover all right the next one is called steve smith and born again and the title is the mind is a battle and uh this is classic aor Straight out of the school of Journey, Petra, uh, some of the more, uh, you know, White Heart, like uh, Vital Science, not Vital Science, but uh, more Don't Wait for the Movie era, stuff like that. It's really good classic rock. Um, has a nice insert. And if you thought that the uh, lyrics were small in the testimony tape, look at those. You need. You need more than a microfine glass, a microscope to see those. Um, that's, it's got a really nice professional tape as well. And again, it's really good classic rock and AOR. That's Steve Smith and Born Again. The Mind is a Battlefield. Love it. I don't know if I showed you the uh, spine for testimony he is alive oh that steve smith came out in 1988 as well uh the next one uh i mean i don't know what what year this came out what year did this come out 
Okay, it's John Allen Gary's. And he has a story. John Allen Gary's. Um, it looks like that was 1987, actually. Have you heard of the band Jag? Uh, Jag released some albums on Benson and, and maybe another record label back in the late 80s. Uh, they did Only World in Town and something street. I can't remember. But Jag was that classic rock band. I think he was actually, uh, a, Jag was uh, produced by Billy Smiley of Whiteheart. And it absolutely sounded like, kind of like a Whiteheart clone almost. Well, John Allen Gary's, that's Jag. He is Jag. John Allen Gary's was Jag. But this is before that, back in 1987, he had a solo album called... Um, it's your choice and this is his solo album it's your choice and it's not quite as rocky as jag uh but it is it is good uh classic rock and and pop and and good melodies and good songs there so that's up there on on ebay as well the next one is a band called smithworks and they kind of have a cult following. I've actually sold the vinyl of this for really high dollar. 1986. Um, not sure. They might be out of Oklahoma. They recorded in Oklahoma. Look at that co cool cover. This is one of the best covers you'll ever find. We actually have a sealed vinyl copy of this already listed on eBay. Not sure how many sealed vinyl copies of this album you're ever going to find, but uh, the, I'm sure that the cassette can be had a lot more uh, financially uh, reasonably. The vinyl is pretty expensive. It also does come with a nice insert. And you can actually read those. Like, I have not the greatest eyesight. You can actually pull that out and read it. So, as you see, Covered in Blood is the name of the album. And here is the cassette. It's pretty good stuff, man. It's got ripping guitar. Like, if you like ripping guitar, then you will like this album. It's very good, highly recommended, great cover, great music, a rare find on cassette. The next one is a band, uh, I think it's, a, it's some type of European band. Let's see if I can, it's called Changed. Yep, the cover and uh, it's called Who Is Real is the name of the album. The band is changed, and then the album is called Who Is Real. It is a European band. Let's see if it says where. Oh, my. Holland. It's a Holland band. Rare find. Uh, do you like early Barnabas? Think of those first two Barnabas albums where um, they hadn't fully embraced the metal sound. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's some female vocals. I think Change actually has male and female vocals. But it's that, like, early 80s rugged AOR, rugged hard rock. Um, it's really good stuff from Holland. There we have Changed. Who is real? That's a rare one. It's a very rare one. Okay, the next one is classic AOR. You like bands like Ransom and Vixen. This has the big budget. It has a huge production and massive background vocals and harmonies. We have Sevenfold. And Sevenfold is exactly uh, along the lines of Vixen and Ransom. You will, you will love this. It's 1993. And it has five tracks on Titus Records. The uh, it has Cheryl Ellenberger does all the vocals and Robert Carlton does all of the guitars. And it looks like they're out of New York. Uh but it's a professional tape. 
Um, this is really good stuff. Like, this is top notch AOR hard rock. Some might call it metal, but lately it's been being called AOR. The next one is Driver featuring Rob Rock from Impilitary on vocals. Really nice cassette. Um, big Rob Rock fan, big Impilitary fan. This is the original Driver demo. As you can see, the original Driver demo even has some liner notes. They did a really, did a really nice job on that. So uh, it's slashing commercial metal, hard metal, um, not thrash or anything like that, but you know, traditional heavy metal melodic, really melodic with the big vocals like that. Maybe like the first Angelica would be a good example. Um, another really rare one is uh, Alexander. And this one is a dubbed cassette. So not everybody had the money to go in and have a bunch of stuff professionally printed. There's only three tracks on here. Tony Strom Stromella is the contact person there. Anybody know Tony and the band Alexander? Here we go. This is classic rock and pop metal type of a sound. Um, pretty good stuff. It's actually, it's really strong stuff. So if you like pop metal and uh, AOR, that's a great place to start. All right, here's a demo that comes with no cover. It's a band called Golgotha. Uh, this is not the California one. This is the Pennsylvania one, I believe. Daryl Hillman is the guy behind this. It's 1985. I know this because I remember it being in Heaven's Metal Magazine or White Throne Magazine or both. And I sent my three or four dollars and got the cassette. Um, unfortunately, my cassette broke back when I was a kid. So I was actually really glad to, to get it again. Recently, it's really good metal. There's something like 13 or 14 songs on here. And uh, it kind of ranges in style from uh, everything from like ACDC to maybe some Iron Maiden type of stuff. So it's really good traditional heavy metal from 1985. Uh, <clears throat> next up is one of my personal favorites. I love Thrash. I love like the early, the first four Metallica albums. And up next we have Welcome to Forever. 1995, Tony Black plays and does everything. And I am telling you, this would fit very comfortably next to Metallica's Master of Puppets, Metallica's Ride the Lightning, and those first few albums. This is thrashing, intense, guitar wizardry, wizardry uh, thrash metal, crunchy in all the right ways, and the vocals are very, very much like Metallica. You know, I'm sure there's like some some uh, Exodus or um, Overkill influences, but the strongest one by far for, uh, for Creature is... Metallica, and it comes with a really nice professional cassette as well. And not much for the inside, but you know, get what you get. Preacher, Welcome to Forever, Tony Black, 1995. The next one, another dubbed cassette being called Within. Yep. And it doesn't have a bunch of songs. It has like one, two, three, four songs. Oh, I guess it has like eight songs. Looks like they're out of Hollister, California. Mark is the contact person. Does anybody know the band Within out of Hollister, California? Mark's behind that. We know almost nothing about this. So I guess they used to be in a band called Common Ground. Because as you can see on this side, it has the name Common Ground and then in parentheses within. So 
I think they used to be called common ground. Does anybody know anything about them? It's a really good metal. There's one track that's really, really good, like Sunset Strip type of hard rock. It's, <clears throat> you know, it's it's sort of like that acoustic. Starts out acoustic and then it gets into sort of a progressive jam and then it launches into the mean metal guitars. And then on side two, it gets heavier and heavier to the point that at some point it sounds sort of like Black Era Metallica, Black Album or type of Metallica. It's actually really good. I really enjoy it. Again, all of these, there's YouTube videos for it. Um, next out of New Zealand is Devout. It's a really cool cover out of New Zealand. The uh, album is called Martyrdom and it's 1996. Comes with a very nice tape as you can see. Two-sided. Got a very nice fold out. Actually really nice. Look at that. Look at that. Got all those. Um, as you can see, it's pretty good. It's around 1996. Yep, it is 1996. Out of New Zealand, and it is death and doom metal. Uh, maybe a little bit of black metal thrown in, but it's a strong, strong album. Looks like there's four total tracks. For about. Uh, next up is Junkyard Prophet, uh, Bradley Dean out of Minnesota. It's uh, good, like mid nineties era. I think it's uh, four tracks. And it'd be sort of like, um, I don't know. It's melodic, nineties melodic metal, sort of like uh, Guns N' Roses. Uh, Precious Death would be a really good example. Don't, uh, don't, I've got some ringers here coming up, so don't, don't be leaving just yet. Um, next up is a band called Will Landrum. I think, I think Will does everything himself. He is an instrumental guitarist of extraordinary ability. This is commercial AOR, commercial metal, um, and it is ripping. So if you like Jeff Sheets, uh, stuff like that, where it's just ripping, uh, guitar with solos and textures. Uh, it's a really strong album. I really, he does the guitars, the bass, the drum programming. 1990 out of Virginia. Will Landrum. Really good at what he does. Uh, strong, strong album. And it's got a bunch of songs on there. Like, I think it's got 11 tracks or something like that. Next one is another professional release it's called sterling cook as you can see sterling cook has a really nice album there it's called above and beyond and he actually has a professional print out with that as you can guess sterling cook is uh blues like heavy blues so if you like zz top if you like stevie ray vaughn this is the one it's got a bunch of songs on there as well uh, i highly recommend it it is, it's a really, really strong, heavy blues. If you like Res Band, if you like, um, if you like Glenn Kaiser's solo stuff, uh, it's on par with, it's just on par with the best of stuff. Okay, two really good ones to, to close this out. Uh, occasionally you come across an album where you're really, you look at the cover, you think you know what to expect, and then it blows you away with something. This next band is called The Revelation Band. I believe they're out of Pennsylvania. We'll check that out. But look at this cover. What do you expect there? When I see that cover, I'm looking for like early White Heart or, you know, the Sherrits or something like that. Although... I have to say that I think that you had to have a mustache to join the band if you were a dude. So uh, I'm glad that uh, for the uh, the woman that uh, she didn't have to grow that mustache. She looks a lot better without it. Her name is Penny Reed. Other guys are Chuck Gilbert, Phil Zio, 
Guy Reed, Rusty Kloss, Andy Landis. Andy Landis, that sounds familiar. Andy Landis, who's playing Allies or Russia or something? Plays bass? I'm going to have to look that up. Produced by Paul Kruger. Produced and engineered by Paul Kruger. Uh, Paul Kruger. I mean, he that was the guy from Pure Metal. That was Pure Metal Records. In fact, recorded at Morningstar Communications in Springhouse, Pennsylvania. So, my goodness. This is not White Heart stuff. It, there is some stuff that's classic AOR on there, but there is a song on there. The second track on side one is called Victory. It's unbelievable. It sounds doomy and full on like 70s metal. And uh, have you ever heard of the band Messiah? They did Final Warning and Going Insane in the mid 80s. That's exactly what this band sounds like. I posted it on YouTube and shared it on Facebook and it got 200 views in only one day, which is a lot for my channel. So, but uh, I would love to find this band. I think this is 1987. Yep, 1987. They're out of Telford, Pennsylvania. So it's a really good album of classic rock and AOR, and it has at least one really good metal song on there. Uh, it's not like in your face metal. It's like sort of a doomy, uh, like low paced plotting but uh unbelievable metal song like it's one one guy my friend that uh, actually ripped that for me said that it's it's worth the price of the album all by itself and that's without uh, without without a case uh, or without question the revelation band if anybody knows how to reach them i want to talk to them and last but not least is one of the most famous demo tapes of all time Tempest, Annihilation of the Wicked. Uh, this features, uh, let's see, Warren Harris is the master guitarist, and I believe that, uh, yeah, Tim Burris does drums. Oh, Warren Harris is the lead vocalist and bass player, and Timothy Burris does the, Burns, I'm sorry, Timothy Burns does drums, and Kevin, Michael Felt does guitar. They were out of Ohio. And this was a, this is a six song, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, six or seven song <coughs> demo tape. And uh, the famous uh, story is that there were two Tempests. There was this Tempest out of Ohio, which is a thrash masterpiece. And then there was the Tempest out of Indiana. Which, all, which featured Mick Rowe and Jamie Rowe. Uh, Jamie would go on to be the lead vocalist for Guardian. Well, Tempest of Indiana was not, they were not musically near what Tempest from Ohio right here is. And Pure Metal Records signed Tempest from Indiana with Mick and Jamie. And when they signed the contract, they said, well, hope you have a good ride home to Ohio. And they said, well, we live in Indiana. So the long and the short of it is, is that Pure Metal Records in Pennsylvania signed the wrong Tempest. Who went on to put out two very mediocre, but somewhat charming and enjoyable albums. But this band is thrash of epic proportions. And uh, it's a crying shame. I, I literally called Tim at least a hundred times in the, in like sometime in the 2000s, I called and left him messages at least a hundred times to try to get things done. I talked to Warren Harris and he kept saying, call Tim, call Tim, call Tim. And it never happened. Tim never returned my phone calls. So right now you can get this demo tape on eBay for auction right now. It's fantastic. Okay. Those are it. So, Hey, the links are down below to my eBay store. 
Uh, feel free to share it. Feel free to comment. Uh, if you know how to get a hold of some of these bands, Tempest, I lost my contact information. If you know how to get a hold of them, let me know. Uh, some of those bands, it'd be really cool to reach out to them and get some backstory. So feel free to, to comment. Like my eBay store, favorite my store, whatever you need to do so that you stay connected, that's fine. And let me know if you'd like to be on my email list. Uh, when I put new auctions out, I'll email people out as well. You can email me at brutalplanet at gmail.com. That's brutalplanet at gmail.com. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining me.